time teacher of science itself. Today we are going to make a flying hoopster. For this activity, you will need a thick sheet, scissors, cello tape, and a straw. Come on, let us start. First, take the thick sheet and cut out three strips of the length 5 inch and width 1 inch. Then take two out of the three strips and attach them together with cello tape. Then attach the two ends to form a circle like this. After that, you have to take the third strip and attach its ends too to create a smaller circle. Now you have two hoops of 10 inch length and 5 inch length. The last step of the activity is that you have to take a straw and attach both the hoops in the ends of the straw just like this. You can use a cello tape to make it strong and tight. Your flying hoopster is ready. You can try throwing this hoopster into the air with a little hoop on the front and the big one in the back just like this. So there are four forces here which helps this hoopster fly. Let us see what those four forces are. Gravity, air resistance, thrust and lift are the four forces here. Gravity and air resistance are the two natural forces here and lift and thrust are the artificial forces. We all know that gravity is the pull experienced towards the earth by every object. But what is this air resistance? Okay, try taking a flat sheet of paper and dropping it from a certain height. You will be able to notice that the flat sheet of paper is floating across in the air till it drops down towards the earth. So this force exerted by the air onto the paper is called air resistance. Remember that air resistance occurs in all the directions. Now coming towards the artificial forces that is thrust and lift. Thrust is nothing but the force that we exert onto the hoopster to make it fly. Lift is the force which helps the hoopster keep its balance in the air. Here the thrust is opposite to the direction of the air resistance and the lift is opposite to the direction of the gravity. I hope you understood the forces which help the flying hoopster to fly. Thank you.